first of all, its storyline and just how impactful the message is that the, mu that the movie just puts out there. Hakuna Matata, Mufasa's quotes, all of the things that he says to Simba, and just all of the things that could really help somebody. Well, I did do my research. I did watch the movie a few times. That's not really research, but I watched the, mu I watched the movie a few times just to check it out. I, haven't, I hadn't watched it in a while, so I was like, hey, let's pop in the movie. Let's watch it. Um, and I watched it. It was good as usual. Um, and uh, probably the day of recording, I was very prepared. So I think that helped. I would say Simba is a very brave, courageous, and uh, a king. He's a very, very sure of himself type of guy. I think their relationship is very great. Um, it's pretty, pretty sad that he died because he was, he was very young. Um, and I, I still think that their relationship is very close and very tight. He's the best. He's, like, he is my favorite director, first of all. I just gotta put that out there. He's my favorite director that I've worked with, that I've met, and he's, he's just a really great person. Like, he remembered my birthday. He remembered my brother's birthday. Um, he's, he's really nice. He was a great director. I think that I started watching the movie um, when I was about maybe five or, or six. Um, I can't really remember. Um, but I definitely loved seeing it. And I was like, wow, I want to be young Nala one day. Um, and then, you know, a couple years after that, then I got, you know, The Lion King on Broadway. And then a couple years after that, um, here I am today as young Nala in, you know, the all-new Lion King. Well, the characters are very iconic, so I feel very proud just to be a part of it. Um, and I definitely want there to be, you know, a lot of inspiration in the characters as well. Um, like, the same as like the ones, um, you know, in the original movie. Um, so that's why I wanted to add in some really nice characteristics into young Nala to make her, you know, inspiring um, to, you know, other little girls just like me when I was watching the original one. I think that it's really just the sense of family that, you know, all of, um, all of the lions have together in the Pride Lands. I think that that kind of reminds people of their own families because, I don't know, maybe some family member might be a little bit, you know, off the rails or, you know, um, something like that. But I think that it's really relatable um, and it's just a, a story that you can watch with your whole family. Nala is super enthusiastic. She's so smart. Um, she's really, she's really, um, she's really selfless, um, and I think that she really just wants to share all of the amazing qualities with herself to the rest of the world, um, and I definitely love that about her, and she's so inspirational, um, and that's, that's incredible for, you know, for young little girls, um, and for basically anybody who's watching the movie. John Favreau is so sweet, um, and it's great because after after shooting, I got to see him in so many films that I've like never seen before. And I was like, oh, I know him, <laughs> um, and that was awesome. And as I said before, you know, he gives us so much freedom to just work on our characters, you know, with ourselves. Um, and it was really awesome working with him. I would definitely want to work with him again. Hey guys, it's Lisa with more on The Lion King. Now, the name of the movie seems pretty straightforward, right? But did you know that its original title was actually King of the Jungle? Marketing materials and merchandise had even been made before the studio realised, hmm, lions don't live in the jungle. Click here below to subscribe and remember to also tap the bell to always receive our videos in your feed.